Right. Um, right, this is the middle of Hungary, uh, Budapest. Um, just going up Andrasi Ut towards Hero Square. Um, there's various Hungarian heroes there, of which the only one I can really remember is Arpad. Now, Arpad was a really tough guy and he had reindeer's antlers coming out of his, he uh, his uh, hel helmet. Probably not uh, reindeer's antlers, actually. He probably had moose antlers coming out. Um, anyway, he was a very tough guy and he was responsible for the uh, occupation by Huns, or Hungarians, of Hungary. Um, and they've put up a square in his honour. Um, and this is it. You can see the Hungarian flag and the European flag. Uh, both uh, dangling from that line over the road. There's some interesting buildings here. I have to watch how I point my camera because uh, uh, if you can see here there's a great big smudge on my windscreen. A whacking great big beetle because there's a lot of wildlife in Hungary flew into it on the way there and I just can't get that stain off. I'll have to stop my car and wash my entire windscreen with some strong deter detergent to get rid of that beetle juice as it were. Anyway, in today's film uh, we're going to be going out to the east from Budapest, um, going to visit the Hortobad Pusta, which is the largest um, wilderness, as it were, uh, in the European Union. I don't know what we'll see. Hopefully we'll see some nice natural sights. Uh, here we see the column with the uh, heroes on the top and the, and the various heroes uh, sat around the bottom of the base of the column there. So here you see the top and bottom of the and then you see all of the colonnades around and that's Hövish Ter or Heroes Square here in the heart of Budapest. Looking around the to the left of the square you see certain other sites. Here we go around to the full site of this hero square. And driving now out of uh, Budapest on the road to Mishkolts or Route 3 if you like. Coming now more into the direction of motorway number 3. It was a lovely lookout over the lakes here by Poroslo or Poroslo. Right, I just passed the um, entry sign, although it was hidden behind some reeds, I couldn't photograph it. The entry sign to the Porto Badge National Park. So this is the Pusta, the uh, wilderness of, of Hungary. It's part of the Hungarian Great Plain, or Alföld, which is sort of like a flat area completely surrounded by mountains, although you can't see them here because they're too far away. But uh, it's got mountains just about enclosing it in on all sides, the Carpathians uh, above, the Balkans below, sweeping round it on uh, just about all sides. And it's as flat as a pancake itself. So um, that's why the Hungarians chose to centre their homeland when they found it on this lovely flat area and to defend it and that's what they've always managed to do. They've had varying shapes and sizes of their country, but uh, this part has always pretty much been in it. And uh, it's, it's wild and it's flat and it's got various sorts of animals and plants in it that you don't find uh, anymore in most of Europe. Some things here are completely unique to this area. I probably won't have such a great deal of luck as to film anything that's completely unique to this area, but uh, anyway, you know it's there. One of the things which is supposed to still be here uh, and not really anywhere else uh, anymore is the Great Bustard. So these bustards uh, are still in the wild here. They're wild bustards, 
and uh, we don't actually have these anywhere else uh, in Europe on that scale. There have been attempts to um, let these uh, bustards go in, in Poland. That's a lovely piece of wetland, the sort of thing where um, I think there were some yellow irises there. Um, in ah, it's fantastic. Look at that for. A, quite breathtaking actually. That's just the sort of place a bustard would like to, to live. These are actually very large birds of the crane family. Um, the genus is called Otis. So whenever you use one of those Otis lifts you can think about them. Um, and uh, they live out here. Now what we have crossing the road there is a magpie. There's nothing special about that. You can probably see this white egret there. Um, it's like a heron. And uh, so there we are. That's not, not far away from it. It doesn't seem to want to fly off or anything like that. It knows that it's you know, protected. People come around here not to chase them around but to uh, enjoy looking at them, I suppose. So that's in its wild state. In uh, England, you would see that in a zoo, but. Uh, here it's in its wild, wild state, and uh, you can already see that long-horned green beetle moving around a bit there. That's rather unusual. I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. It's got its stripy antennae. Bird song, quite interesting all over the place. And all these tiny birds, hardly many different sorts, warbling away in the reeds here. The little patch of reeds are actually quite dry. And uh, they're sitting and they're just warbling away. They've stopped warbling when I started talking, but maybe they'll carry on. So this is a hide, this little house here is just built so you can go in it, presumably anybody can go into it, it's open, and just sit on that bench and look through that window and take photographs of what you see. So I might do a bit of that and see if I can actually photograph anything interesting. Something large coming down the way there, flying down the river towards us. Not quite sure what it is, but maybe it will fly in. Or swim in, I think it went down and landed in the river. Yeah, this is some some kind of diving duck down there on that river. That's where the bend is. I guess we'd have to be immensely lucky to to see much. I'm gonna to zoom in on it. I'm going to get some more footage of this here thistle because it really was rather good what was in here. I want to get a little bit of shots of them all moving around. There's a lot, rather lot of ants in there as well. There's this quite rather handsome beetle. I hope I'm getting good footage. Can you move a bit for me? Come on. Oh, he's tumbled. He's taking a tumble. And there's a red one. Two red ones. Well, at least two red ones. They seem to be having a, an orgy uh, there. I can go into David Uncleborough mode. I have to put two fingers in my mouth. Talk a bit like David Attenborough. The Hungarian thistle beetle is at it all the time. Woo! And there's another one. You can see it's red. Well, it's corny, curly horns around the corner there of the thistle. We do a film called Life Inside a Hungarian Thistle with various kinds of beetles in it. Quite fascinating.
Temptation, but delay. 